got original 19 these fit uh, several years in the Chevrolet C10, C20, C30 trucks uh, 60 through 63 uh, some of them had a just a regular bow tie on it this one did have Chevrolet in it uh, so it, I, I would say it's right around the last year 63 uh, we've cleaned it all up it's got brand new chrome on it repolished face and the case and everything's been redone. It's got a full Aurora design conversion in it. It's got a AM FM stereo uh, auxiliary in. It's got four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It's got a pre-out on it if you want to add a little sub. It's got USB port. This is your harness you'll be getting. Plays thumb drives and uh, will charge your phone. Your device is right here. Auxiliary in right above it. It comes with a mount or you can put it in a round hole. A lot of people put it in the cigarette lighter. It's also push button operated for your USB, your phone. Because it has uh, Bluetooth. Hand free phone calls, voice command, voice assist. It's got voice ID. It will scan your stations for you. I'll be demonstrating all that. It's a pretty cool little radio. I like this system here radio cleaned up real nice right now you're on FM you got a little operating let's see a little operating LED right here changes multiple colors depends on what you're doing with the radio over here you got a little stereo light that way when you find a stereo channel it lights up of course it's Christmas so we're playing Christmas music today if you want to go to AM radio, all you simply just turn the unit off and right back on. It takes it to AM radio. Off and right back on takes you right back to FM stereo. Treble and bass like you've always had. In your treble and your toner control, treble and bass, you also have a uh, balance and fader built in. Uh, depends on how many speakers you hook to it because it knows how many it's running when you, whenever you turn it on. Uh, right now we have four connected, so we're going to be able to demonstrate uh, balance and fader with it. Uh, that's how your AM FM working. Your auxiliary in is automatic. You'll get a mail to mail cord. We're going to put a little MP3 player on it. Bring it up, just all you do is plug it in and radio will automatically change over a little light, go to green. Now when you're on auxiliary end, you can plug in satellite radio, CD changers, your phone, iPods, whatever you got that will plug into it, play music from. And anytime you want to go back to radio, just simply turn your device off. And if you don't touch the radio in 20 seconds, it'll go back to where we had it set. Uh, if you want to shorten it 20 seconds during that time, just turn it off and right back on. We're going to let it do its thing because we want to make sure everything's right in it. Should be getting close to cycling back around. Go ahead and unplug this. There it is. Switch back over automatic. That's what we want it to do. Now this radio will scan your stations for you without the needle moving. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, all you do is take your, your tuning knob and go up twice. One, two. And a little light gets to flash. Now it's going to start scanning stations for you. Sporting event. Can she get this is pretty neat if you're going down the road and you ain't got time to fool around and turn that. It'll keep going from station to station. I'll show you how to lock on a station and I'll show you how to even find it and identify it. It's still scanning. Anytime you want to end the scan, just back your needle up one notch, it'll, it'll quit scanning. 
If you want to find that station, I'll show you how to do that. Say, so we like that station there. All we do is turn it once, start flashing quick. Now, it will lock on if you don't move it, or it will go quiet till you find it. There it is. We want to know what station that is because we're our own FM, and we got an AM dial. We don't want to change the looks of the radio. Just take your volume knob, turn it up three times. Nine, two, dot, one. Just tell you what station you're on, it will do this on AM and FM. Machiavellian. <laughs> Landing 100 YouTube. A good, nice, clean sound to it. Uh, we're gonna do uh, log our, our uh, we're gonna do the initial pair up on our phone. That way, I can show you how it, it, it operates. So you're gonna do the same thing with yours. And all you do is bring your phone up, make sure you're on Bluetooth. All right, we're on Bluetooth. All right, we're gonna take the push button, hold it down. We're gonna let our elbows out. Bluetooth ready to pair. Showed up on her phone. All we got to do is tap on. She'll tell us when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. All right, we're connected up. As you notice, the button is lit up. Now, your volume knob and tuner knob work the same as this button. So, I'm going to demonstrate it all for you. Oh, you can bring your phone up and go straight to music and hit play. Or we can do a voice command. Let's turn it off. Let's go back to radio. Let's do a voice command. Would help if I plugged the mic into it though, wouldn't it? I keep forgetting that. Now these these I don't uh, build I don't build uh, mics internally on it because they have to drill a hole in the new chrome. I don't want to do that. So let's plug a mic into it. You'll get one of these. It comes in the package. You can hide it wherever you want to. I don't know why I didn't do that to begin with. Well, if I hit the hole. Alright, plug the mic in. See, it's got plenty of cord on it. Now we're going to do a voice command. We'll hold the button down. Bring our phone up. Play music. Now it's going to music on my phone. It's mainly set up to, uh, it's mainly set up so you don't have to have your phone in your hand while you're driving. You can do everything from this push button and these two knobs here. All right, we've done a voice command with so touch play. We can say call home or look up an address, whatever we want to do. If you want to change your music on your phone, you can do it two ways. You can push this once to advance. Okay. Or you can take the tuning knob and turn it up once. That'll advance your song. Back up, we'll back it up. Oh, I'm Johnny Cash. So this works the same as that. We want to back up more, hit that twice, repeat, or oh, I'm Johnny Cash. back up. Do, 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 do. Forward, Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. back up. Do, 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 do. Good night, sweetheart. Uh, you can push this back down and hold it down and bring your phone back up until it to actually... Uh, stop music, uh, make a phone call looking for a restaurant. You can also do it with the volume knob by going up twice. I really must say, oh, good night, sweetheart. Oh, you gotta hear it move. One, two. Stop music. Now we're back on radio. You can do the same thing by bringing your phone up. Same thing as holding this button down, go up twice and bring your phone up. That's how you Bluetooth, hand-free phone calls, 
voice ID, voice command work. So now, every time you get in your vehicle, once you've done the initial pair up, it will take up to multiple devices. It'll always pick number one, your primer driver, you want to do yours first. And every time you get in it and have your phone with you, turn this on, she'll come on and say Bluetooth connected. Uh, these here, people like to hide these in cigarette lighters if you have one. You can put it in behind there and make your cigarette lighter work. Or put it on the lip of the dash just so where you know where it's at. Uh, we're going to do the USB. Like I said, you're going to get a thumb drive with this radio. It's got the video on it that we're shooting right now and some music. And uh, it's also got files on it for your uh, manuals and all, even though I'll give you a paper copy if you lose them, you can put this in a computer and print them all. Once you put this in, it's going to go straight to it. Same way advancing on your thumb drive by pushing it once. Back up. You can do it here, advance. went up twice on your volume knob to go to Bluetooth. You can go down twice on it to do the same thing with push button for this. If we want to go to pause, all we do is hold this down one second, put this in pause. This little light's going to blink a couple times along with that one while we're going right back to radio. Now I doubt we're on the station because I've moved it. Well, we are. Okay. If we want to go, that's the reason why I say a lot of people like to hide these. You put it in your glove box and work it off from the radio. You don't have to see it. The only time you got to take it out if you want to change this or uh, charge your phone your device. We want to go back to the thumb drive Charging one second. Unit. Put it right back on the thumb drive. We want to put it in pause by using the volume knob. Go down twice. Put it in pause. Go right back to radio. In the tree. Down twice. Go right back to the thumb drive. Change our music. Uh, forward, reverse, multiple ways of working it, which is pretty neat. Let's put it back in pause. Let's go back to radio. One, two. All right, now I'm going to show you how to work your balance and fader. We're going to go back to thumb drive so we can do that. Hold this down one second. Back to thumb drive. Treble and bass, there's wide open bass, wide open treble. All you do is go to about the center of it, and we're gonna go into fader first. We're gonna go clockwise with the toner control, like a 12-2 motion, and she's gonna come over and say in the fader mode. Uh, then as long as we're moving this control, we can fade from front to rear. When you find what you like, just stop. It'll beep once, and go back to toner. Then after that, we're gonna go back to the same setting, which is dead center, and go counterclockwise twice, like a 12-10 motion. That's gonna put us into balance mode. Let's try it. Fader adjust. There's your rears, fronts. And we're gonna set it up so we hear fronts and rears. There we go, we're gonna let it beep. Back on treble and bass. All right, now we're gonna go counterclockwise and go into balance. We're gonna set our balance up. One, two. Balance adjust. Left side, right side. All right, now when you're all four speakers, let it beep. Now we're back on treble and bass. That's your original 1960 through 63 Chevrolet pickup truck AM radio. Uh, there are no non-push buttons. There are some that fits it that are push buttons, but this is the original one. 
I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.